Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing another back to school video. Sorry about my dog. Um, I've been really having problem with uploading this because uh, firstly, I've been really busy lately. Um, I've been getting my school supplies and I'm just really busy and my room was like super super disorganized and yesterday I just kind of cleaned up a little but I didn't like clean up all the way so yeah sorry Shh. so um, I decided I'm gonna do another back to school tutorial this is gonna be my seventh slash eighth grade because I'm just gonna add a little bit more and just make it eighth grade-ish. But first I'm gonna start with seventh. And I've been having a problem with iMovie and editing. I don't know what is happening. I used to edit perfectly and I loved it, but now it just isn't working. Like if you're an iMovie user and you know that when you double click like a clip, something like black uh, opens, like a tab, that isn't opening, I can't mute videos, I can't do anything. So I have to upload this without editing, so I'm sorry. So I'm gonna start with foundation. This is the nylon foundation, or you can use like a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. And this is really runny, so you have to be careful. So I'm just gonna tap this on my face because it's like legit water. And you don't wanna put it like where you're really dry because it's gonna look like flaky. But I think in the summer, no one's dry, but I am kinda dry, but still kinda oily. So yeah, just put some extra dot on spots where you, you need that. Uh, here, here, and since we're gonna put eyeshadow, I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. Um, blend it out. Oh, uh, where's my brush? Here's my brush. I have an entire foundation routine for when I have when I want to have like perfect skin, like I have another layer of skin so I will link that below and just buff it in or you can use your hand I personally love using a brush and you don't have to be perfect if you still can see your imperfections like you guys need to understand that we still have like we still we have problematic skin and especially at this like if you're in middle school or high school especially you're gonna get you're gonna get pimples and all that stuff but that's normal like guys get pimples too and i'm trying to talk a lot because i'm not gonna edit so i want you to hear something It's a little sticky, so I'm just gonna take a powder brush and just go like this. I just put press that. And just blend it out. Or do you just want it to like go everywhere? So it sets any I don't think I'm gonna get to 12th grade because it's like your full makeup routine or you can just wear whatever you want. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do like seventh and I already have done six. I'm doing seventh and eighth grade in this one because I'm gonna do the seventh and you can add something to the seventh to make it an eighth grade. 
and the ninth grade, it's gonna be like after. I love filling in my brows, so I don't know, but I just love filling in. Even though I have really thick brows, I just love filling them in. I wish I could edit. I just love editing, but I can't. My movie is like crashing all the time, and I freaking hate it. So now I'm gonna take a brow gel. I'm gonna use the new one I got. This is what I use for uh, my mascara for school, but because it's a makeup tutorial, I'm just gonna use it for this as well. I just wanted to blend out the pencil or if you're using a brow powder, blend out the brow powder. Okay. I'm gonna take my powder brush and just put it on the powder and press it on my lids. So they're all set for um, eye stuff. So I'm gonna use this Maybelline um, Trio in Almond Satin and it's a Chick Naturals line. And I'm just gonna use this color right here. And we're just gonna put that on your lips. I hate this eyeshadow, this I this trio, but I still use it because uh, it's for back to school tutorials. So people need like something accessible. So I wouldn't recommend this like type the same one, but it's what I have. So yeah. So now I'm gonna take a corally a uh, blush. Or if you have like an eyeshadow that's this corally color, I'm just gonna tap some here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. And now I'm gonna take a blending brush. Put that through my crease. You just wanna place it. And we're just gonna blend it a little bit, but I'm still applying a little bit of product because I still want it to be a little dramatic. Okay, I need a blending brush. A blending blush. Okay, here's my blending brush. So I'm just gonna blend it out. And it's just gonna be take it's just gonna be like a natural contour. But it's gonna be like a pinky contour. Okay, so we're gonna skip eyeliner. Maybe in the eighth grade we'll add some. This is like a day to night, but it's like seventh to eighth grade, but it's not like a day. It is like a day to night, but not really. So yeah, I'm just gonna take my favorite mascara, which is the Great Lash, lots of lashes. I'm just gonna do a thin coat. Like so. Did I curl my lashes? I feel like I did. I hope this video isn't too long because I have I don't have something to edit it, so yeah. Okay, and now for blush, we're just gonna take the same corally blush we used on our eyes and we're just gonna put that on your cheeks. Using a blush brush. I think this is a very natural color to wear for middle school because it's a corally and you naturally blush like a corally color so yeah it's 
especially if you're like a pink tone they'll look great sorry um okay so we're just gonna add a tinted lip balm okay now to make it a little set um i'm gonna take a flat top brush a flat top brush like so like this and i'm gonna take this to this toe color right here from the maybelline palette and we're just gonna line a lower lash line We're just gonna do the same on the other eye. I'm gonna use a little spray of water to make it a little brighter. Or you can use uh, Fix Plus or Mix and Medium. Or any like water spray. And now we're going to line our top lash line as well. Or if you want, you can, uh, you can use brown eyeliner, but since I just ran out of mine, I'm just going to use this taupe eyeshadow. And taupe is a very cool color to use because it can be a contour or it can be an eyeshadow or an eyeliner or something like that and we're just gonna take a little bit with a blending brush and take some of that taupe eyeshadow and put that on your here I, I just put that here a little bit so it darkens your eye the tiniest bit take your blending kind of press it okay so what else can we do for the third the third the eighth I'm just gonna take that taupe eyeshadow I run that on my cheekbones I see that you guys are enjoying my back to school videos. Like, the first day I uploaded one, it was already like 30 views. Oh, and I'm gonna do a giveaway, don't worry. I'm just like getting all the stuff to do it. Okay, so that is all I wanna add. Maybe I'll add a little bit more of tinted lip balm. Oh. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed these this tutorials. There were two in one. It was like a day to night. It was like seventh to eight. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you try it out, send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram, and I will be more than glad to see it and post you like. Oh, thank you, or something like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up for more. I love you guys. Be looking out for a giveaway because I'm going to do a giveaway very soon. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.